It was Friday, five o'clock, rush hour traffic when I got the call. And I thought, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? Traveling with 85 kids is a lot like herding cats, especially 85 middle schoolers. Going through airports, getting on buses, getting through museums. It was really fun until we found out that 23 of them were about to miss their flight home. When we were handing out the boarding passes, we realized that the travel company had made a huge error. So we had 23 kids sitting on a bus in Chinatown who needed to be boarding a plane in less than one hour. Most of us were just really frantic once we realized what was happening. Some of them haven't even been on an airplane yet and were just really terrified of what was gonna happen. There was not enough room to put the 23 kids on the second flight, so missing this is definitely not an option. The United agents at the ticket counter were definitely ready for us. They printed bag tags for 96 student suitcases. They did everything in their power to make things go as fast as possible so that I had the right kids to hustle through the security checkpoint. We weren't allowed to stop or get something to eat or use the restroom because all the teachers said there was no time to do anything except try to run through the airport and get to our flight. I had already boarded the plane. I was feeling stressed out. I was feeling frazzled. Allison came over and said, don't worry. We have this. It was going to be a really close call with all these kids coming running from the ticket counter. And once I told the pilot, he told me that he was gonna make sure that ops knew and that the agents knew so that we were on the lookout for these kids. She was the calm that I needed in that moment. When I boarded the plane and I was catching my breath, I was just shocked that we had literally made it by the skin of our teeth. Once we had everyone on that was supposed to be on and the plane actually took off, I felt like I could breathe and relax a little bit. I started passing out cash to each of our students so that they could buy dinner and quickly realized, oh wait, they don't accept cash on planes anymore. When Christy tried to give me her personal credit card, I told her that I wouldn't take it. It just didn't feel right. There was no way I was gonna let all of these children go six hours or more without food. Every student got something to eat on the flight and the adults did too. <laughs> In the end, all 85 kids made it on the correct flight, their luggage made it home, and we landed in San Francisco on time. I'm just blown away by uh, the staff at United and how they went the extra mile to make sure that our flight and situation were handled with kindness and care.